Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight with a book called Meet Wild Boars by Meg Rosoff and Sophie Blackhall. Once upon a time, this is Boris, this is Morris, this is Horace, this is Doris. They are wild boars. They are dirty and smelly, bad-tempered and rude. Do you like them? Never mind. They do not like you either. If you are polite to Boris and hold the door for him, he will tusk you with his terrible tusks. Tusk, tusk, tusk. Bad Boris. If you share your treats with Morris, he will stomp on them with his beastly feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Naughty Morris. If you try to help Horace with his mittens, he will make a nasty smell and snort with laughter. <coughs> snort, snort, snort. Horrid Horace. And as for Doris, oh my, my, she's a Stinkier than the stink pot turtle. She is uglier than an ugly fruit. And she's bossier than a bossy saurus. Poor wild boars. Nobody loves them. But maybe, just once, they could come to your house. You could make them some snacks. You might show them your toys. Play dress up or dominoes. Splash in the bath. They could borrow pyjamas and sleep in your room. Nice wild boars, sweet wild boars. They promise just this once. They will try to be good. Oh no, they will not. Horace will soak in the toilet for hours. He'll eat all your soap, clip his toenails in bed, be rude to your pets, cut the strings off your puppets, make fun of your feet and lock himself inside the shed. Morris won't eat what you give him for supper, or let you go first. Say excuse me, or please. He'll sneer and he'll scratch, stick his snout up your jumper, then eat all your chocolate and give you his fleas. Boris will break every one of your pencils. He'll smash up your puzzles and use all your glue make horrible smells, leave the tops of your pens, stamp his foot, have a tantrum, then swear it was you. And as for Doris, who has never been good, not for one single second, not once, not ever, never, she will ask for a toy in case she gets lonely and scared in the dark. Dear little Doris, to which we say, ha! Given half a chance or even less, Doris will eat your very, very best whale flippers and all. So perhaps it's best if we all agree that there is no such thing as a nice wild boar. Then, if you happen to run across one that's fluffy and sweet, though chances are that you won't, you will be very pleasantly amazed, but not at all fooled. The end of Meet the Wild Boars by Meg Rosoff and Sophie Blackall. Here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and wild boars around the world. Good night.